Hello, Dr. Mike here, and welcome to my review of the Form 2 printer by Formlabs. The Form 2 is Formlabs' newest desktop stereolithography printer. Stereolithography is a 3D printing method where a laser hardens liquid resin in a vat one layer at a time. This is different from fused deposition modeling, or FDM, where plastic filament is heated and extruded through a nozzle to make the 3D print. Stereolithography is capable of producing highly detailed 3D prints with a layer thickness of 25 microns. This is about four times finer than the 100 micron layer thickness for comparable FDM printers such as the latest MakerBot replicator. My Form 2 arrived in a series of boxes at my front door. I do a lot of 3D printing, so I ordered extra build platforms, and resin tanks. Resin cartridges came in their own separate box. As you can see, I ordered extra resin cartridges as well. The Form 2 printer itself came in a large box that contained a quick start guide, another resin tank, build platform, and accessories. The printer itself was well secured in the box and had convenient pull-out handles. Once the printer was in its final location next to my old Form 1 Plus, I had to remove the extensive tape used to secure the printer during shipping. A thin plastic protective film is present over the touchscreen. I tend to get my printers dirty, so I left this in place. Next, I plugged in the printer, and it immediately started to initialize. The printer immediately gave me a warning that it was not level. I had the new Form 2 set up on the same table as my older Form 1 Plus printers, but these older printers do not have a leveling sensor, and apparently I have been printing this whole time uh, on an unlevel table. Fortunately, leveling the Form 2 printer is very easy. It has screw-type legs that can be raised or lowered, much the same way that restaurant tables can be adjusted. A simple disc-like leveling tool comes with a printer and can be used to adjust the legs easily. Adjust the legs until the leveling circle is within the bullseye shown on the main screen. This is a pretty cool feature. The printer is now ready to print. You can connect to the printer over a USB cable, but I prefer Wi-Fi as my main computer is in a different room than the printer. To do this, turn on Wi-Fi settings and select your network. The older Form 1 Plus printer resin came in bottles that you had to pour into the resin tank. The Form 2 printer comes with printer cartridges that slide into the back of the printer. When your resin tank is low, the printer will automatically fill the tank from the cartridge. This is quite handy, especially with larger prints that may require the tank to otherwise be refilled in the middle of a print. A new resin tank fits easily into the printer and snaps into place. 
Resin tanks are considered to be consumables and are thrown out after about two liters of printing, when the floor of the resin tank becomes foggy and starts to inhibit the laser. Each resin tank comes with a wiper arm which also snaps into place. The new build platform slides in easily and locks into place. Inserting a resin cartridge is a snap. There's a cap at the top of the resin cartridge that should be opened to allow air in, which will in turn allow resin to drain into the printer. At this point the printer is ready to print. You can see that the display shows that there is a valid resin tank and cartridge that have been inserted. Also a readout of the internal temperature is displayed. During printing a heater will warm the internal temperature to the appropriate level for best results. This is the result of my first print which is a hollow vascular model. This is my second print, which is a section of lumbar spine printed in clear resin. This is the new model removal tool which is part of the finishing kit that comes with a printer. It can be used to remove the 3D printed model from the build platform. Formlabs has recently released a firmware update which makes removal of the parts much easier. The removal tool can slip under the edges and with gentle twisting will separate from the build platform. This is a significant improvement over the older support structure, and it is an example of how Formlabs continues to improve its products even after they are sold through the use of software upgrades. Once the model is removed from the build platform, the support structures need to be removed. This can be done either before or after cleaning the part in an alcohol bath. The model will be covered in sticky resin so you need to wear disposable gloves and be able to clean the parts with alcohol, which requires decent ventilation. Using the flush cutters that come with the kit, the base can be cut and the support structures can be gently worked off the model. Here is an example of a splenic artery aneurysm model that I printed in clear resin. You can see that the quality of the print is excellent. If you would like to 3D print this model yourself, I have made it free for download at the link in the description below. It is available in both STL and Formlabs preform software format. Feel free to go ahead and click that link now. The Form 2 comes with many upgrades and improvements over its predecessor, the Form 1. This includes a larger build volume, which is 14.5 by 14.5 by 17.5 centimeters, a heated tank, a new slide peel system, the resin wiper which reduces print failures, dust protection, the automated resin system, and wireless connectivity. The cost of the Form 2 printer is $3,499, which includes the printer, resin tank, bill platform, finishing kit, and one liter of resin of your choice. The printer comes with a one-year warranty. Standard resins are available in black, gray, white, and clear. Functional resins include flexible, castable, and tough. A biocompatible resin is available for dental purposes. 
The Form 2 printer is an outstanding desktop stereolithography printer for the price. It produces very high quality prints. It is expensive for a consumer grade printer, but is significantly cheaper than other printers used for medical purposes. The free preform software makes setting up a print easy. Downsides of the printer are that it is messy, requiring gloves and isopropyl alcohol to clean the sticky resin from the parts. This can be a problem in a poorly ventilated office environment. Also, the build volume, while larger than its predecessor, is still small by many FTM printer standards. Overall, the Form 2 is an outstanding value, and I highly recommend it, particularly if you're doing medically related 3D printing. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below, and happy 3D printing.